Hello guys, you are welcome to this tutorial video. This is David Gladness. On today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you a simple method by which you can create the glass movism effect. But in case you don't know what the glass movism effect looks like, you can see this glass effect that was used on this simple design. You can see that particular glass effect that was used on this design. Yes, that is what I refer to as the glass movism effect. It is actually called the glass movism effect. Alright, so please, if you are new to my YouTube channel, do well to hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share this video so that YouTube can recommend it to others as well. Alright, so without further ado, let's proceed to the tutorial. Alright, one thing you must know about the glass movism effect is that before you proceed with the effect, you must have prepared your background. You must have prepared your background. If you want to use it on a design, you must have designed whatever it is you want to set as the background, all right? It could be an image, it could be flyer or anything. Just do well to have prepared um, your background, okay? So if you should stick around to the end of this video, you are going to learn two different ways by which I like to use to create my glass movism effect. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do now is to bring in an image to set, to set as my background. So I'm just going to import an image from my gallery. I'm going to import an image from my gallery so that it can set as my background okay so let me look for something let me look for something yeah let me make use of this guy's image all right so i'm just going to increase the size i'll go to my relative size and increase the size to fit into my background all right as you can see this image is automatically serving as my background at the moment all right so if you are to use it on a flyer like the one I showed you earlier, you must have designed whatever it is you want to design on the flyer then. You follow the steps I'm about to show you in this video. Alright guys, for the two methods I'm going to show you in this video, you would need to blur your original image that is serving as your background. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to save my image. I'm going to save my image to my gallery, okay? So I'm going to save it in an ultra dimension then save to gallery. Now, I already dropped a tutorial on how you can actually blur your images. You can check the description box below to guide you through on how to blur your image perfectly, making use of the Points Blur app. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to open my Points Blur app. Then, I'm going to um, blur the particular image. So, I'm going to blur this image. How blurred your image is depends on how transparent your glass movism is going to look. So I'm going to save this particular image. I'm going to make it so tense. As you can see, this is really tense. Like the blur radius is so tense. So I'm just going to save it like this. All right, so let's just wait for the advertisement. Then I'll cancel this. Now, we'll wait for this to save to our gallery. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to clear the blur effect. Then I'll save it again. But this time, I won't make it so blur. I won't make the effect so blur. I want to do this so that I will show you what I mean by how tense your blur effect is. It's the same way your glass is going to be transparent. If your blur is so much, your glass will not look so transparent. But then if it is not that much, it is going to look so transparent. So let me reduce the intensity of the blur effect. Then I'm going to save it to my gallery as well. Now, as I've said earlier, if you need the full tutorial on how to blur image perfectly, making use of this app, you can check the description box below. I already dropped a tutorial on how to do that. All right, so without further ado, I will return to my Pixel app. All right, so the next thing we are going to do now is to import our blurred images. So I'm just going to click on import. Then it should be under my recent. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to import the one that is not so tense. You can see this blur um, image. It is not so tense. So the next thing I will do is to move it to box. So first, increase the size to fit into this um, to the workspace. Increase the size to 100 by going to your relative size, then increase it to 100. Now the next thing you're going to do, move it to back. Either by tapping on this to back, or you just tap and hold these icons, this dot right here. Then scroll down when you tap and hold to move it to back, leaving the original image to be at the front. All right. So the next thing we are going to do now is to bring in a shape. If you want to make use of a circle shape, okay, let me, let me show you making use of the circle shape. Let's assume I want to use the circle shape or any type of shape at all for my glass effect. I am going to position the, the circle shape. All I need to do is to position the circle shape wherever I want it to be. Then I will make sure if I want it to be aligned, I want it to be at the middle. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to give this particular circle shape a color that is not on the original image. So I'm going to go to my color, enable the color. If I wanted to use the red color, yes, of course, it looks as if there is no red on this design. But then if you should look closely to his lips, it is having a touch of red. It is having a touch of red. So I would advise you look deeply into your 
design look deeply into it go to your colors and make sure you select a color that can't even be traced on your particular um the particular design you are about to create i think purple is a good is a good color for this there is no trace of purple on this design all right so the next thing i'm going to do now is to match the original image the one that is not blood this one at the top i'm going to merge it together with the shape so click on this um icon click on this icon you're seeing right here now after clicking on it click on this one you're seeing at the downside now when you click on it select this the original image and the shape then click on this particular um place you're seeing my cursor right here when you click on it it's going to bring this confirmation message just click on ok so when you click on ok it is automatically going to match them together scroll and go to where you're going to see erase color right here so click on erase color then enable the er eraser now when you click on eraser click on this color picker you're seeing right here click on the color picker then select the um the shape to, to erase that particular effect on the shape now as you can see it has automatically erased the shape and it is giving us one blur effect already now the next thing we are going to do is to scroll and look for where you're going to see shadow now enable your shadow now after enabling your shadow depends on the player you are working with but then i prefer to use the white color for this as you can see it is already giving us that glass vibe it is already giving us that glass vibe so the next thing i'm going to do i want to increase my blur radius to 15. i would like to increase my blur radius to 15. then if you wish to reduce your shadow um your, your shadow transparency you can reduce it by tapping on this plus you're seeing right here if you are using the white color tap on plus then reduce it depends on the one that fits into your taste even if you are using a different color so just reduce it as you can see we are already having that glass effect now if you feel like increasing the blur radius as well you can increase it to anyone that fits into your taste i'm not working with the offset x and the offset y because i'm using the circle shape as my blur um, as my glass effect so i am um, it is not really necessary for me to use the off to work on the offset x and offset y so as you can see this is already perfect but then you can proceed to give it another effect now i would like to lock the image the one at the top then i'll click on shape then i'll bring in another circle shape make sure it is the same size with the first one or better still you can just increase it and make sure it is just properly placed then i'll go to my relative position to make sure it is at the middle now the next thing we are going to do is to move this particular shape to the middle of the two images all right then the next thing we are going to do is to go to our opacity to reduce the transparency you can see that reduce the transparency of the shape we just brought in you can see that you can see how the glass effect is now forming you can see how the glass effect is now forming so you can reduce or increase it depends on when it fits into your taste so you can go ahead to to change the color for this shape if you feel like changing the effect on that particular glass effect you can go to color enable your color then you can easily make use of any color that fits into your taste you can see that you can easily make use of any color that fits into your taste and you can also reduce the blur radius and the, the, the color transparency so you can easily change the color to anyone that actually fits into your taste all right now i'm going to show you another method by which you can create this glass effect now i explained something about how, how blur your image is let me hide this particular blur effect let me hide it so the next thing I'm going to do now is to import the second image that is the, the one I, I blocked so much. So I'm going to import it, then select the second image. You know, this one is really blurred. I'm going to increase the size of the image, then click on this and move it beneath. All right, you can see the blur effect. You can see how blurred this one is. Let me hide it. Let me hide it. Then enable this. You can see how transparent this one is looking. Then let me make this visible. All right, then look at how this one is. It's not so transparent. So how blur you make your image depends on how transparent your glass effect is going to look. All right, so let me teach you the second method I love to use for my glass movism effect. All right, so let me delete the blur images and uh, okay, let me just undo. Let me undo. All right, so I'm just going to delete the shape and the blur image. All right, as you can see, I am left with my background. Now this method is very simple. This time around, all you need to do is just to bring in your bring in your shape this time and i'm just going to make use of the square shape as i've said earlier depends on the type of shape you want to use it, it is not a must to use the same shape i am using you can make use of any shape for yours all right so the square shape then the next thing i'm going to do is to position it at the middle i want it to be at the middle all right so the next thing i'm going to do now is to bring in um to to, to save this particular shape in a transparent background all right so just go to your background 
select transparent now hide this particular image this um your, your original image hide it so that you'll be left with just the shape make sure you save it in a transparent background click on save as image and make sure it is on png format then you can save it as ultra then save it to your gallery all right as you can see it has successfully saved to my gallery so the next thing we are going to do now is to enable this to make it visible again then we are going to give this back to and um, bring it back to our white color all right so the next thing we are going to do is to delete if you if you feel like deleting this particular shape you can delete it we did no longer we do not need it again but please before you save the particular shape that particular shape make sure you position it the exact place you want your glass movism effect to be i didn't mean i want my glass movism effect to be around maybe i want it to be around this place i am going to save this particular um i'm going to save this particular image on this place like it is going to be positioned exact place where you want your glass movism effect to be so i'm just going to delete the shape all right so the next thing we are going to do now is to import that same shape click on this place you're saying import then it's going to redirect you to your gallery then select that shape we just saved you can see this is the shape now don't tamper with the shape don't make use of this icon i won't advise you to make use of this icon to increase the size of your shape no go to your relative size then increase it to 100 you can see what i did there then tap on this mark icon now the next thing you're going to do make sure you are still tapping on that particular um shape we just brought in then go to texture go to where you are going to see texture now select that blood images so we are we are to click on this place you're seeing my my cursor right here then it's going to redirect you to your gallery now select the blur image first i'm going to select the one that is not so tense i'm going to select the image that is not so tense you can see it is blood but it is, the blur radius is not so much then tap on this mark icon now you can see the glass vibe you can see the glass effect it is, it's giving to it so you can tap on this mark icon now you can go to your stroke enable the stroke make use of any color that fits into your taste but for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to make use of a white color you can make use of a white color reduce the density of your um the, the transparency of your white color then click on ok now you can reduce the width to just one then tap on this mark you can see we're already having that glass effect and it is looking so transparent because of how we blot our image now you can go ahead to your shadow enable shadow then you, you can see it select the black color i'm going to reduce the the shadow density the, the shadow opacity reduce it then click on ok you can see that you can see that we have already created the glass effect and it is looking great so you can further reduce your blur radius as well maybe to five or anyone that fits into your taste as you can see we have already created the glass effect but then if you want if you don't want this to be so transparent you can just go to your texture you can go to your texture delete this particular one then select the one that is so tense okay so this is the tense you can see this blur effect is really tense so let me just tap on this mark icon now you can see this the difference between the two um the, the first and the second blood images so how transparent you want your glass effect to be depends on how tense you make um you blow your image all right so the next thing i'm going to do now you can further go to your inner shadow you can further go to your inner shadow i'm not talking about the ordinary shadow go to your inner shadow now enable it then give it any color you can give it a white color then i'm just going to work on the offset x you like giving it an offset x you can increase the blur radius to anyone that fits into your taste then you can increase this as well you can see what i'm doing there i feel like reducing the blur radius no increasing the blur radius then i'm going to bring back my you can see what i'm creating there you can see what i'm creating there so just take your time to work on your design now as you can see then let me lock this look at the effect this is really perfect this is really perfect but then i feel like the blur um the inner shadow is too much so you can just go there work on your inner shadow the more just take your time to adjust your glass movism effect all right guys thank you for sticking around with me to the end of this video i would love to know what you think about this video if it was helpful please drop a comment like and share and if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe and turn on the icon so that you will get notified anytime i drop a new tutorial video see you on the next one